What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And I am back with another video. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys this makeup look right here, as well as how I get my top knot bun. It's really not a bun. It's more like a ponytail, but it looks like a bun. Illusion. The illusion. It's an illusion. So yeah, if you guys want to get this a look, then definitely keep on watching. Oi, babe. Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. What is that from? Some Drake song, it gotta be. So I'm about to use my oil, put a little bit of it in my hand. You really can't even see it cause it's like blending in with my skin. And I just rubbed it on my fingertips and I'm about to take down these Bantu nuts. I've had these Bantu nuts in for like two days now. Yeah, two days. This is like my first Bantu nut out in so long, so. I don't know how this one's gonna come out because I haven't done it in so long and I need a, this is like a, a practice run to see how good I am. And I don't think I'm that good because in the past my hair would not come out like this. No, it would not. So I just have to practice, honestly. I'm gonna take some more oil, spread it up, get my hands nice and oily and then just start plucking. Ew! When YouTube videos fail you, I'm probably not even like doing it right, honestly. But dang, felt right, felt like I was doing it right. So I'm gonna take my H2O water bottle and pretty much just spray my hair on the parameters, like around my hair. I'm not really gonna spray it on the ends, just more so on the roots of my hair. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just brush my hair up into the ponytail, but pretty much I'm just putting it up so I can see how I want it to be. So some of the Bantu knots are still formed like right here on my head, but then some of them are still formed in the ponytail. But I'm gonna leave that there because I'll unpluck it once I finish doing my edges. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm pretty much gonna worry about the back, slicking that up slicking my sides up and then slicking my baby hairs down. And I actually like to do this little thing where I slick my baby hairs down first and then wrap my, you gonna see. So I'm about to do my baby hairs now and I'm using the Kiss Argan Macadamia Edge Fixer. This, y'all, this thing smells so good. And it says it's maximum hold, non-flaking and it's non-oily and it is all of that. So I take my scarf, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but I wrap my edges up before I put my hair into a ponytail so that my edges can stay in place. Okay, and then, actually let me spray my brush a little bit with some water. And then, whoosh my hair up. Slick it up, slick it up, slick it up. And then I just take my scrunchie and I start wrapping my hair and I put it into a ponytail. I need to back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up! <laughs> mind your business, that's all, just mind your business. I'm just gonna go in and unplug some of the curls so that they're not like, you know how Bantu nice be? It'd be like this, like real tight. I want it to be poofier. See, so when I unwrap it, my edges stay like that. That's why I do that. So I can swoop them and do what I wanna do instead of putting it up into a ponytail and then feeling like I'm scraping my edges off. So I did that over the weekend. Well, for my birthday I did that because my hair didn't turn out right. 
unfortunately, but I still, you know, I finessed it. That's, I'm an ultimate finesser, honestly. If people have been doing this, I'm gonna be like a little upset because why didn't I know about it? You know what I mean? Like what? Now what I do is I pretty much just wrap it. But I don't wrap it like this. If I had longer hair, I would go like this. And wrap it and wrap it and wrap it around. But I don't have longer hair. So to make it give that illusion, that appearance that I do have longer hair. All right, so yes, yeah, so I go like this. And just take little pieces and just go around and start tucking. So I just took those pieces and I bring it to the back and I'm just bobby pinning it down into my like ponytail. And then I just take some more pieces and just, you know, play with it a little bit. Shape it like how I want it to be shaped. Yeah, just keep twisting and tucking, twisting and tucking. Now, um, okay, so I need to moisturize my face. I'm gonna use my favorite moisturizer, which, dang. Y'all know I love my Bobbi Brown. But I be trying to use what I have instead of going out and buying another one. So I've been using the Sunday Riley Moisturizer, which is, it has like the same vitamins and stuff in, it has the same vitamins and stuff that the Bobbi Brown has. I was just like, let me just use this, use this up. But now this one is almost gone too. All right, and then I love this new L'Oreal Paris uh, Infallible Glow Lock. This is so nice. I love it. Like, if you want to be glowy, you see, you see how that, they just did that? You see how they did that there? Just made my skin look extra glowy. So this gives me a little bit of pore filling, but I like to have no pores. So I'm gonna take some of my pore filler from NYX and put this on my face. Really gotta work that into this forehead cause this forehead has been acting crazy lately. And my chin, this is my whole face. My whole face been acting crazy. All right, so I'm gonna take the Flawless Fusion Foundation. It's their Radiant, Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I'm gonna put this on my face. My head is huge. Like, look at my forehead. Dang! All right, anyways, so I'm going to conceal under my eyes everywhere and highlight my face. And I am using the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer, The Cure. She is still The Cure. I don't know why I feel like I have to say it like that, but I just have to. Cause they sliced it, the cure. No more under eye bags, the cure. She the cure, but dang. And then just go ahead and blend that out. Get her together. She cured me, she cured me, but no. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to contouring. So I'm gonna take these two colors right here and I'm gonna go in and contour my face. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my setting powder and go ahead and set under my eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna take my powder contour and I'm going to set my face, well, set my contour areas, set all over. Y'all, it is extremely hot in here and it's making my foundation move a little bit. That's why I'm trying to hurry up and set my face. Okay, and now I'm just gonna wipe away all my setting powder and like blend out everything as well. Yeah, that is that. Now I'm gonna move on to my brows. So Anastasia, they just came out with their new brow gels and I'm going to give it a try. So I'm gonna use medium brown. I love the concept. It's a great concept, honestly. 
because if you know Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know that they have their dip brow pomade. And so this is how the dip brow gel looks. It's in this little, little like mascara. And it's in a tube. So you just dip it in. And then you're supposed to get the product from here and then do your brows. It's Nate Bob's on his rhyme, boys. Rhyme, boys. My microphone was not on, oh my freaking gosh. But what I did was I took some of Monte Carlo and Coastline in the Rivera palette and I used that all over my lid. But I'm taking Coastline first. I'm glad I didn't do this eye too, so <sighs> yes, that's a good thing. So yeah, I'm gonna take Coastline and just use it as my transition color and put that on my lid too because I'm creating a nice soft pink smoky eye. And now I'm gonna take some of Monte Carlo and put that all on my lid. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a nice fluffy tapered blending brush and I'm gonna take Bahamas and I'm gonna put that all on my lid. This color, I've been wanting so bad to use this color because it's so daggone pretty. I'm so happy Anastasia played in color in this palette because mm, I've been needing them to come out with some color color. Oh, that made it pop. Make it pop pop. Oh, make it pop pop. Under my eyes, I'm gonna just take some of Monte Carlo and Coastline and sweep that under there just to give it some color. And then bring it all the way out to the outer corner to meet the eyeshadow on my lid. Ooh, and we have a little bit of fallout. It's a lot of kickback in the palette, but I do not care. If you guys care about kickback in the palette, let me know. Cause if not, I'm gonna stop saying it when I you know, first review or just use a palette and it's new. But it is some kickback in the palette. And of course it's a little bit of fallout, but this pigmentation bit, the pigmentation is really all I care about and if it's easy to blend. And it is easy to blend. It kind of reminds me of their um, Modern Renaissance palette a little bit, the way it's blending. And I love that palette. Ooh, and then I'm taking some of that Coastal. Is that Coastal? Coastline. And just sweeping that closer to my brow bone. They really did that. They gave you transition colors. They gave you a little pop of color like this palette everything. All right, I'm gonna take some of Palm and I'm going to bring that right on the outer corner to smoke it out a little bit. Take my liner, my liquid liner, and I'm going to create a nice thick wing. Okay, I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm using my Buxom mascara and just coat these lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some lashes. These are a new pair of lashes that I'm gonna be coming out with this year. I'm not sure when I will be coming out with them, but it will definitely be in the summertime. And this style is called Chloe. So when I do come out with them, you guys will know what they're called. I'm gonna take Inheritance and I'm gonna put that right in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take the eyebrow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to create my little beauty marks. Now let me take my highlight. I'm gonna take Champagne Pop. Champagne Pop. Where's my highlighting brush? Oh, here you go. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take Champagne Pop and just highlight my face just a little bit. I don't wanna do too much highlight. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna add some blush. This is peach. This is actually my favorite blush. 
It's from Laura Mercier and it's just so nice. And I bring my blush all the way up here and it just gives me a nice little bit of color. Mmm. I like that color. I like that color. So I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty lip liner and flirt. I'm gonna take an Odie but goodie. This is the NYX lipstick lingerie. I think this is in Baby Doll. This used to be my favorite like last summer. And just add that right to the center. Oh, I forgot that I have this highlight, this new loose highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is really nice. I'm gonna add some of this to my highlight, just a little bit, cause this ring is potent. And then I'm gonna use the Dewy Setting Spray from Anastasia, mine as well, just to complete this look. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys diced it, but I love you. What? If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and definitely follow me on here because you're already here, so you might as well click that subscribe button. It's free. Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. But yeah, that is it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's